Hello guys, welcome back to another codingbed.com tutorial. Today we will be doing logic 2, exercise make chocolate. The problem states we want to make a package of gold kilos of chocolate. We have small bars, 1 kilo each, and big bars, 5 kilos each. Return the number of small bars to use, assuming we always use big bars before small bars. Return negative 1 if it can't be done. So. Basically, we have a set goal we want to reach using small bars, which, which are 1 kilo each, and big bars, which are 5 kilos each. And we want to return the number of small, ki small bars we want to use. So in this case, we have um, four small bars, one big bar, and we have a goal of 9 kilos. So if we actually use all the pieces, uh, so four one kilo pieces and one five kilo pieces. So that's four times one plus one times five. You get nine. Uh, so that perfectly matches up. So the function would return four because you would be using four of these small bars. In this case, um, you have the same exact number of bars, except this time your goal is ten. Now, as we saw before, because 4 and 1 actually add up to 9, uh, and because you can't make up 10 uh, kilos, which is the goal, then the function would re return negative 1. In this case, uh, the goal is 7. So, because um, 4 small bars plus 1 large bar adds up to 9, we are actually overshooting, so we don't need to use all of these small bars. We can actually use two of them to make our goal of seven. So uh, the function would return true, uh, not true, two, because we would be using two of the four small bars. So what is something we can do? Well, first, we can create a variable called small needed to see the number of small bars we need. Um, how can we calculate that? Well, we'll have our goal and we'll subtract from the goal the kilos created by the big bar. That way, we have to see how many kilos have to be made up by the small bar. First, we check. Is the goal even able to be made? So like in this case. Um, the goal can't be made by using the small and large bars, no matter how you arrange it. So we want to check for that condition first. So big times 5, because each big bar is equal to 5 kilos, plus the number of small bars. Is it even enough to make up the goal? If it isn't, we return negative 1. Next, what do we check? Is the number of small bars needed less than or equal to the number of small bars we have? Um, next, we also want to check to see that the number of small bars needed is a real uh, positive number. If it is, then we just return the number of small bars we need. Now, for our final condition, uh, there is a chance that the number of large bars is already overshooting the goal. So in this case, if we had two large bars, um, two large bars plus four small bars would actually equal um, 14. 14 kilos total, which is more than enough for the nine kilos we actually need for our goal. So, um, in that case, we would only have to use one large bar and four small bars. So, how do we calculate that? If small bars needed is less than zero. So, how would that happen? Well, if the number of uh, the kilos created by the big bar is larger than the goal, then this would actually return a negative, or not return, but create a negative number. So if the number of small bars needed is less than zero, and 
goal mod 5 is less than or equal to small. So what does this mean? Well, we're checking to s the modulus function checks to see the remainder after dividing a number by a certain number. So in this case, we're checking to see the remainder after the goal has been divided by 5. So what does that actually yield? Well, what that would actually yield is after using up all the big bars, not completely, but as much as you can without overshooting, how much of the kilos do you still need to make up using the goal? So for instance, 9 mod 5 is actually equal to 4 because 9 divided by 5 equals 1 plus a remainder of 4. So what that's basically saying is by using up all the big bars, how many small bars do you still need? So that would equal 4. Um, in this case, 10. Uh, 10 mod 5 would actually equal to 0 because 10 divided by 5 is 2 perfectly. So, However, we don't actually have two large bars, so that wouldn't work. Uh, 7 mod 5 yields 2 because 7 divided by 5 is equal to 1 with a remainder of 2. And as you can see, the number of the that remainder, the number of small bars we need, is less than the number of small bars we have, so that would work. So we're checking to see that number we need. Is it less than the number we the, the number of small bars we have at the moment? If that is so, then all we have to do is return goal mod five. If all else fails, again, we return negative one. If we run the code, we get all correct.